the dream painter. I want to tell you a story. In the quiet town of Crestwood, nestled amidst rolling hills and ancient oaks, there lived an artist named Ilara. She possessed a unique and extraordinary talent that set her apart from any other artist in the world. Ilara had the ability to paint people's dreams and nightmares into existence. Her humble studio, a quaint cottage at the edge of town, was a sanctuary of creativity. Here she surrounded herself with canvases of all sizes and an array of vivid paints, each colour carefully chosen to capture the essence of emotions. Her slender fingers, dappled in splashes of colour, moved gracefully across the canvas as she brought the dreams and nightmares of her clients to life. Ilara's gift was both a blessing and a curse. The townsfolk admired her, and her reputation as a painter of dreams and nightmares spread far and wide. Those who sought her services were willing to pay handsomely for a glimpse into their subconscious minds. Ilara was empathetic and compassionate, choosing only to paint the dreams and nightmares of those who came to her willingly, ensuring that her creations were born from consent rather than coercion. One cool autumn evening, a young woman named Lily arrived at Ilara's studio, her eyes heavy with the weight of nightmares that had plagued her for weeks. Lily was haunted by visions of a monstrous, shadowy figure that chased her through the inky depths of her dreams. She trembled as she described her tormentor to Ilara. Ilara listened intently, her heart aching for Lily's suffering. With a gentle smile, she assured the troubled woman that she could help. Ilara's brush danced across the canvas, and as she painted, she infused the artwork with the essence of Lily's nightmares. The canvas came to life, the monstrous figure twisting and writhing, its malevolence palpable. Lily watched in awe as the nightmare was pulled from her mind and into the painting. The studio seemed to shiver with the intensity of the captured nightmare, but Ilara's confidence never wavered. With a final flourish of her brush, Ilara painted a radiant figure emerging from the shadows, a symbol of hope and strength. She knew that the nightmare could not exist without its opposite, and she believed that even in the darkest dreams there was a glimmer of light. Lily's nightmare now trapped on the canvas, Ilara handed it to her with a kind smile. She offered Lily words of comfort and courage, knowing that the nightmare's power over her had been diminished. As Lily left the studio, she carried with her a tangible reminder of her own strength, a tangible reminder that her dreams and nightmares were within her control. Ilara continued to paint dreams and nightmares for those who sought her talents, each creation becoming a unique work of art that reflected the complex and beautiful human experience. In her little cottage on the edge of Crestwood, she reminded the world that art had the power to heal, to empower and to transform the darkest corners of the mind into something beautiful and meaningful.